Hello everybody, thank you for coming to this week's video blog here at California Realty Training. We're excited. My name, Robert Rico. Hoping to bring some more good stuff to you in your real estate career. Listen, this, particularly for those of you who are brand new in this field. We know it might be difficult. We are assuming you expect this might be tough. Don't sweat it. I want you to dig in, stay diligent. You can do this if you just follow our lead. We have presented you with some great advice in the past. We want to continue bringing you some great advice and some good tips so that you can take these with you and say, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. It might work for you. It's worked for me before. It'll probably work for you if you do it the right way. Got it? Good. Now listen, today's topic is a good one. It's always a good one. We always want to bring good stuff to you. Something that's going to be relevant in your life. Something that's going to be relevant in your career. This is the deal. Ready? Today's topic is a good one. Today's topic, how important is competition to your success? How important is competition to your success? Now, when most people think of competition, they think of somebody against somebody else. It almost has a negative connotation, right? Competition. You against me. I'm going to get that client, not you. I'm going to beat you to that client, not you. And it becomes a battle. Competition in many people's you know, minds is a battle. Who's going to win the prize? Competition. I'm going to tell you one thing. I want you to change your view on competition. I want you to completely change your view on competition. And I'm going to tell you why. Ready? Here it comes. We all have our own lives and we all live our own, have our own values and we all live our own ways and we all have a certain, uh, I don't know, perspective on what's important to us and what's not important to us. Got it? Now, a lot of us believe that if we were to adjust our lives and become 50% more affluent in our finances, we'd be successful. Be, yeah, I would be completely happy. If you're making $50,000 a year and somebody told you, hey, if you got involved in real estate, you could make $100,000 a year. That means you doubled your income. You would probably say, wow, I'm a success now. I went from making 50 G's to $100,000 a year now by doing real estate. I am a success. Somebody else might say, uh-uh, I don't consider myself successful unless I make half a million dollars a year. Somebody else might say, hey, if I can make $40,000 a year in real estate, I believe I'm a huge success. So this is the deal. Everybody has their own level of success. Does that make sense to you? Everybody has their own level of success. You can't compare yourself to somebody else's success. If somebody is, is determined and they have the resources, I mean, we're talking about, now we're getting into, 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 into certain criteria. If they have the resources to make half a million dollars a year, let it be. If you're okay with making $100,000 a year and that's going to completely change your lifestyle, you succeeded. Now, competition is good. Competition is good if you compete, in my opinion, with yourself. Let's imagine a gym. I'm sure many of you have gone to a gym before. You know, a, a gym membership, right? And you want to lose, I don't know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. It is what it is. So you go to the gym and you see all these other people in there. Now the gym is crowded, right? You see all these people in the gym. You're not in there focusing on them. Everybody in that gym has their own success. Everybody in there is there to lose their own, you know, whether it's to lose weight or to get more muscle. Everybody is there for their own different reasons. They're not competing against themselves. They're competing against their own individual, uh, independent competition. They're doing it because they're competing with themselves. And I want you to think of real estate as the same way. When you get into this field, imagine it being a gym. And what is going to be your success if you what? Make 100000 Make 150000 Make, I don't know, 200000 Go to this gym and say to yourself, I'm going in there determined to make X amount of money. Whether that guy down there makes a million dollars or that guy down there makes $2 million a year or this realtor makes $300,000 a year, I have my goal in mind. I started when this field, when I started this field, I was making $28,000 a year in the educational field. And then when I got into this field of real estate and we started making checks up to $50,000 per deal to the point where sometimes we're making a lot of money, I then, my wife and I then realized we want to compete with ourselves and get better and better and better every year. We didn't compete against the next realtor. Are you with me? So competition, compete against yourself. Go to that gym of life, right? and improve your own situation without having to worry about the guy next door. That makes sense? There's a quote that I found today I want to share with you. It's a really, really cool quote regarding competition and success. And the quote goes like this. It says, if you are consistently competing with others, you can become bitter. If you consistently compete with yourself, you become better. Not bad, huh? Take that real estate license, start running, take off, Go attack your own sphere of influence, do your own thing in your own little dome, in your own little area, and make things happen. Doesn't matter what they're doing, doesn't matter what they're doing, doesn't matter what anybody's doing. Do your own thing. 
How do we measure success in real estate? Through competition with yourself. That's what I say. Got it? Good. I hope you learned something today regarding competition. Compete with yourself and you'll find it'll be a, a lot more enjoyable when you don't have to worry about anybody else but you. Got it? Good. If you have any questions or if you have any topics, topic ideas you'd like for us to attack or discuss, hey, come on, do us a favor, do yourself a favor. Leave them down below in the comment section. We're so glad you come to these weekly vlogs. Have a great day. Hope to see you next week.